Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex. Today we are looking at a paper from the Hugging Face Trending List, published on September 5th, 2025, which was about four days ago. The standout claim is that the models deliver near linear long context efficiency with dramatic speedups, including a 26.5 times faster time to first token at 1 million tokens, plus constant or near constant inference memory. The paper is titled Spiking Brain Technical Report, Spiking Brain Inspired Large Models, and the implications for model training are quite significant. This paper also shows stable large-scale training on MetaX hardware, strong benchmark parity with baselines, and low power potential via sparse spiking. On X, posts highlight brain-inspired long-context models with spiking sparsity near 69%, claimed over 100 times long-sequence speedups, and non-NVIDIA deployment with modest but positive engagement around 100 likes. All right, the previous discussion emphasized long-context efficiency in Meta-X deployment. Figure 1 presents the full overview. The left panel lists brain-inspired mechanisms like event-driven processing and compressed memory, the center shows hybrid linear models with spike encoding, mixture of experts, and hybrid efficient attention, and the right panel outlines the conversion-based training pipeline and system support on non-NVIDIA clusters. The callouts highlight multi-scale sparsity, which pairs spiking with mixture of experts, so inference gains and low data pre-training become feasible. All right, the previous figure outlined the overall pipeline. Figure two shows how the two model families and the spike coding slot together which clarifies where efficiency comes from. The left panel depicts spiking brain 7B using interlayer hybridization, alternating linear attention, and sliding window attention so training stays linear while local details remain crisp. The middle panel illustrates spike coding that turns activations into integer counts for GPUs or into spike trains for neuromorphic chips. The right panels present spiking brain 76B with intralayer hybrid attention and a sparse mixture of experts, plus sync tokens that stabilize routing, so the previous figure covered the architectures. Table 2 reports benchmark scores for the 76 billion hybrid linear model versus well-known transformer baselines, which makes the scaling impact clear. The model posts 73.58 on MMLU and 78.83 on CMMLU, so results come close to the base while using fewer activated parameters. Scores on Helliswag and CEVAL remain strong, which suggests the hybrid attention and mixture of experts preserve broad reasoning. So, the previous table covered the 76 billion model's results. Table 1 summarizes performance for the 7 billion linear model versus comparable baselines, which clarifies the trade-off between efficiency and accuracy. The model scores 65.84 on MMLU and 71.58 on CMMLU, while Hella Swag reaches 70.89 and CEVOL hits 69.8. These values approach strong transformer baselines like Mistral 8B, yet remain below the Quinn 2.5 base, which signals some costs from pure linear attention. All right, the previous table contrasted 7 billion model accuracy. Figure 5 shows time to first token under sequence parallelism, which captures how quickly the first output appears as input length grows. The red spiking brain 7B line stays almost flat from 256,000 to 4 million tokens, so latency barely rises. The blue Q N2.5 line climbs steeply, hitting a 26.5 times gap at 1 million tokens, with an extrapolated 104 times at 4 million. The near constant trend indicates scalable prefill efficiency. Okay, two takeaways stand out. First, hybrid linear attention with spike coding delivers near linear long context efficiency, slashing time to first token and memory at million token scales. Second, the team proves stable, large model training off NVIDIA, which broadens hardware options and hints at lower power inference. Thanks for listening. I am Alex, signing off.